Hi, this is David with Resist, and today I want to show you how to use the proper settings for printing with Resist inkjet film and the Epson Artisan 1430 or 1400 model. And um, <coughs> briefly, what I did to get these settings I'm, I'm about to show you is I just printed, um, opened uh, Illustrator, just did a, a sample box multiple times, um, and uh, basically just printed trying different uh, media presets using the Epson driver settings, and also um, trying uh, a couple of the options in there relating to like grayscale and the brightness settings to ultimately get um, what would be the darkest um, print uh, or the UV resistant print that we need and um, as well as setting up the, the highest resolution settings. What you want to do is um, initially I just did a text box just like a one inch text box like so and uh, I'm going to fill it black so I just got a solid black um, box and again the idea here is we're trying to get the settings initially for what's going to be the darkest or the densest um, print and so this way if I just have a solid uh, black box like you see here you can even um, do here, you can see we're at 100% K. And I also even tried um, just doing a, uh, what do you call it? A rich black in Illustrator, which would be, um, let's see here. If I just drag it down here, where it uses, basically as you see here, it's using all the colors and black. And um, so just trying both of those to see um, basically what's going to give us the, the darkest print. Now with the, the Epson, um, either way, whether I have 100% black here or, or a rich black, it's basically doing the same thing um, when I'm using that grayscale checkbox. It's just using black. So I'm just getting a solid black um, print. But this is what I did. And so I'd go and print. And then um, here, we're on the Epson um, driver settings. This is just the eight and a half by 11 sheet, and that's what I have loaded in the printer. So I go and set up here in Illustrator, and then in print settings is where I actually get to the Epson driver settings. So you'd follow the similar steps here to get to um, the driver settings for your particular model. And then here, um, I already have some settings, but basically what I did is um, went through each of these presets for media and um, just tried a print. So like I'd go here, the first one, photo glossy. And then I know um, between these, the photo RPM is the highest uh, resolution setting. So I just always kept it at that. And then I've got it also on grayscale. You could try it without grayscale and but the idea is basically you just want to make uh, one change each time and see how it prints just with these boxes we've got up here until you find um, something that's the darkest settings so you just kind of have to play around with it and um, make sure you write down your settings so that after you print each time you know what's what and you can determine the best printout at the end of the day so that's basically what I did. I just print this and keep doing that, move the boxes over each time, you know, just dragging and printing it again on the same sheet so that I'm not wasting a bunch of film and then, you know, labeling at the top what, what I just did. And um, by doing that, you should be able to find something that'll, that'll work for you. One other thing was um, for Mac users, in Illustrator, um, because of the Epson driver, you're going to want to be saving um, all your your <coughs> print um, pages as a PDF. So that way, um, basically, in Illustrator, I found um, when you're trying to just print straight from Illustrator, it was doing a jagged edge on some of the prints. And um, the way around that 
was basically to save as a PDF, open in Acrobat or, or Reader, and print from there to give you the highest resolution um, output. Um, and that was just, again, due to the Epson driver on Mac and its limitation um, with PostScript options. So, but anyways, <coughs> let's get into the settings here. So, here I am on, um, on a Mac here with our Razist, um, this is just the Razist test page that we use. Um, it's got some fine print and um, some different logos and graphics. And I've already got it saved as a PDF. So I'm just going to be going into uh, the print dialog, uh, Command P, and choosing the Epson Artisan 1430. And then uh, to get into the driver settings, I'm going to be hitting printer. And you can just say yes here. And then um, I'm going to pick this, this drop down here and go into the print settings. This is where it shows me all the Epson um, options for picking, like we see here, media type um, and the print quality and uh, a few other things. So here what I found um, you want to do is ultra premium photo paper luster for media type and then for the highest resolution this RPM is what you want. So no matter what, um, to give you the highest resolution, we want the photo RPM. And then one other option uh, was just doing the grayscale. So basically, since we don't need any color um, printing, we're just going for mono. If you check this grayscale, it'll convert you know, any uh, semi-color artwork to just doing black, which is what we want. And then the other option here, if you go in color options, um, it's on manual settings and these other options are, are grayed out because we're doing grayscale. But if you expand uh, advanced settings, um, I found if you drag this brightness slider all the way to left, negative 25 brightness, that'll give you uh, a little bit darker print. So um, these two options here, the um, print settings and the color settings, <coughs> like you see here, the premium luster, photo RPM, grayscale, and then in color options, setting negative 25 brightness, those will get you the high density um, print you need for um, using uh, Razus inkjet film and this, and this printer. So what I'm gonna do here, um, just so I can save these for future use, if you go up here and do um, save current settings as preset, I'm just going to name this uh, Resist uh, Inkjet Film. Click OK. So now, what that'll do is I'll go ahead and hit Print. That'll save um, those settings we just we just did, so I don't have to set them each time I go into Acrobat or whatever um, application I'm using. So then, if we go ahead and hit um, go back here I'll just go in and verify we have those settings so now all we have to do is make sure this presets on Razist inkjet film like you see and then we just hit print and then final print here and now we're going back to our printer here <coughs> I've already got inkjet film loaded so we'll see we'll see how this print comes out All right, so here's our print. And uh, you want to always visually inspect um, how the print came out. This one looks really good. That's basically all there is to it for setting up uh, the Epson Artisan 1430 and 1400 driver settings and um, printing with Razist inkjet film. You can see um, it's a nice dark print and uh, we're, we're printing with the highest resolution possible with this printer. So, uh, thanks for watching.